Welcome to Whiskey's a Journey. My name is Peter Fasciano. And I am Mary Bridget Fasciano, Peter's sister. And today's Wednesday. It's another episode of Sip, Sip it, it or, or Skip, Skip it. it. What are we going to do? We're going to spin the wheel, pull the bottle off the shelf. We're going to pour it, nose it, taste it, and tell you whether we would keep sipping on the bottle and replace it when it's gone, or if we would skip the bottle and replace it with something else. Did I do it right? You did it. So let's go ahead and spin the wheel and <laughs> see what we're reviewing today. And she even said if it's going to be a peated scotch or a peated whiskey, she's going to do it. I have to. Like, I can't. Oh, Egan. Irish. Egan's Conviction Egan 10. Conviction 10. Egan's Conviction, Conviction 10. 10. I do believe this is an Irish, Irish whiskey. Let me go ahead and grab it. If I knew how to pull off an Irish accent, I would have done that right there and then, but... I have no idea. All right. Oh, man. I had to break out the chair for that one. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I this is going to be back. an Irish whiskey. And I think, well, all of the information for it is right here. Age 10 years. I don't even know if this is a blend, if it's a single malt, if it's a single pot still. I'm not really too sure. So, this was... Uh, $69.99. All right, let's give it a go. Yeah. And I am not the biggest fan of Irish or Scotch. If you've had and conviction. That's a, you poured me a lot. Let us know in the comments down below what you think of it. I'm trying to decide what I think of the bottle. I like the way the bottle feels. Yeah, I really, I like uh, the dark bottles. Yeah, and it's got and like this matte the, finish. Yeah, it's the raised cool. print. Yeah. Yeah, kind of like betting on the pretty the pretty horse. Yep. Let's get this thing on the nose. Okay. I don't know what to think about that. <laughs> it smells a little bit astringent. Yeah, there's a weird scent in there. It has a uh, like a a grainy silo ethanol, almost uh, acetone. Mm-hmm. Note to it. It does. But it also comes across as like a ginger ale. Like a little a, bit, like a, yeah. Like a flat ginger ale. Mm-hmm. But very, what is the proof on this? Now, this one's burning my nose compared to the it's other one. It's 46. Yeah, I'm not digging the nose on this at no, all. No, not at all. Like if I had to decide whether if I was going to sip it or skip it just based on the nose. Just on the nose alone would be Or a if a bartender... Skip like gave this to me to smell, I would not order it. <laughs> if they gave you a complimentary drink, would they say, here. Here, here, smell try, this. Try, try this. this. <laughs> but you can only smell it. And based on how it smells, tell me if you want to order it. I would be like, no. What was that? Is it a Geico commercial with the uh, with the raccoons? Hey, this smells like burnt air and chutney. <laughs> here, taste this. <laughs> All right, are we ready to try this? Yeah. I uh, hopefully this, it's better than than uh It's flat it gin, flat ginger ale and acetone. If you like that, then you'll love this. Okay. Now I got like a Chardonnay note to it. Like a like a green grape. Oh. I get big time Chardonnay notes. That's really nice. That is a That's a that's a white wine Chardonnay green grape flavor yeah this is this is like that's, a summer drink it's that's it's surprising crisp yeah that is not what i expected to taste at all it almost reminds me a little bit of a of a crisp scotch like a fruity single malt scotch like a deanston or an altmore i don't know what that tastes like but it tastes like this okay then <laughs> it must taste good i'm i'm like I'm pleasantly surprised based yes, on what we were getting on the nose. Pleasantly surprised. Yeah. It Wow. It tastes completely different. Completely from different. What it smells like. All right. You can't trust that first no. sip though. I'm excited for the second sip because yes, because the second sip always usually yeah. tastes better. All right. So if it's gonna taste better than that first sip, I'm excited. There we go. Second right. sip. <laughs> second sip. <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't gonna drink. I was just. I was just checking to make You're sure. Me. Wait, I can't take a zip now. It's gonna come out my nose. Okay, wait. All right. Shh, don't make me laugh. I won't. Mm. Now, now it's Chardonnay and ginger ale, green grape, 
tiny amount of spice, almost a almost a pepper spice. I don't get the pepper spice. No, it's just really fruity and sweet to me. This is so good. I, why was this like in the back of your shelf, like all the way in the back? I don't know. If you can, if you look on my Instagram, Whiskey is a Journey, I think you have to scroll pretty far down because I usually take a picture of a brand new bottle. This is on there and it's quite a ways back. I'd be curious to know like how long ago it was that you got this, like how early in your journey. Yeah. Which would make sense as to why it was pushed to the back and kind of forgotten more than, about. I think it's more than a year, that's for sure. Wow. I... I actually really like this. Yeah. So I can't I can't say anymore that I don't like Irish whiskeys because this is an Irish whiskey that I like. All right. And the bottle's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, you oh, ready? Oh, I am excited. So are you ready for a sip or a skip? Yes. Okay. Well, we'll do the same premise as last week. If you were building a collection and you had a taste of this at the bar with the bartender saying, here, yeah. give this a try. Give this a try. Would you put this in your collection? So would this be a sip for you? Absolutely. Without 100% without a doubt. And I might even pick up an extra bottle for a friend. Wow. Check that out. That's right. singing something. Not that I have really any friends besides you and my husband who <laughs> drink whiskey. <laughs> it's, so, a, it's, a, it's a small friend circle. Yeah. This, although it is good, is going to be a skip. <gasps> is going to be a skip Really? For me. Why? Just because... Your palate has surpassed this? Yes. I think this is, don't get me wrong, it's good. It's nice, it's delicate, it's crisp. It seems to be a little bit fragile and too low key for what my palate wants at the moment. Not even at the in moment, the summer, like right like now. Like in the second. Yeah, I think. Even like if, if in Arizona where it gets hot and 120 in the summer, like whiskey can be pretty heavy. Like you wouldn't pull out something light like this and drink during the summer? I think I would prefer a a single malt scotch over this. Like I had mentioned before, like hmm. the Deanston 12 or the, um, what did I say? The Deanston 12, the Altmore. Yeah, I don't know what any of those taste like. So, so I, I, would, tell, I, would, yeah. I would do something hmm. like okay. that. It is good. It is. But it's so just, a, it doesn't. I guess a good beginner um, whiskey drinker. Yeah, it just doesn't pack the flavor punch that I would look for, even though it is clean, crisp, and refreshing. That it is. All right. I agree with that. Okay. Well. Yeah, surprising. Yeah. yeah. I was I was pleasantly surprised with that one. Even though you skipped it. Yeah. But <laughs> you know, at this point in my journey, I've gotta I've gotta make some decisions. Absolutely. No, I get it. I mean, your palate is way more sophisticated. At no, this no, no, point no. Than... It's it's not more sophisticated. It's just different than yours. It has nothing to do no, with No, I meant that you've moved beyond something this light. simple and light. Yeah, like your palate is more sophisticated, that it's craving okay. like deeper, more intense. More um, concentration of flavors. Yeah. Okay, I'll go with that. Okay. And speaking of going with that, this is not a segue whatsoever. I do have a May and June giveaway going. All the rules for this giveaway are in the description below. Just briefly, if you are interested in supporting the channel, you can contribute to a super thanks underneath the video. Just click on that little heart sign with a dollar. You can contribute any increment of $5. Every $5 will get you one entry into the giveaway. Unfortunately, this has to be US participants only. I can't ship overseas. If you are interested in winning six two ounce samples of anything that I covered in May, you can contribute to any May video. And since this is the second Sip It or Skip It in June, June, my June video giveaway is also going. So if you want to contribute to any video in June and want to participate in the June giveaway, you can donate in any video in June, any increments of $5. And Excellent. I think that is going to do it. Like, subscribe, share, do all those things that YouTubers ask you to do. Turn on that bell notification because I produce videos every Monday, Monday Wednesday, Wednesday, and, and Friday. Friday. And I will be here on Wednesdays. Yeah, let's do let's do another one. Let's do another. We'll finish off June. Yeah. So wherever you're at in your journey, I hope you're enjoying it. Because we are enjoying ours. We'll talk to you guys next Wednesday. Cheers. Here you go. It's another sip for oh, you. I'm so excited. And it's an Irish. Yeah, that's all Chardonnay, ginger ale. Ginger ale. Totally. I got a lot of ginger ale on that third sip. I like it when I like something. <laughs> it's so much fun. All right, we're I mean, not just like, yeah, I could drink that. 
but like actually like it. I wonder what that would be like in a cocktail of some sort, or if that would be too I delicate. I think it would be too delicate. I think you Have you, you ever might had a highball? Lose. No. What is that? I think it's a Japanese cocktail where they do whiskey and carbonated carbonated soda. I'm not exactly sure. I've never had one. Oh. But I think that would be delicate enough that might be in a highball. Have you ever had highballs? If you have, let us know in the description. Let us know in the comments down below. She's here. She's thinking what we're, we're finished here, but we're not. Let me know if you've had a highball, what no, they that's are. that's not what you, do you said. Like them? What do they say? You said, let me know if you've ever had highballs. <laughs> I think that's what, or at least that's what my mind I didn't. Heard. I don't think I said that. We'll rewind the tape and figure it out. Have you ever had highballs? If you have, let us know in the description. Let us know in the comments down below. But if you have ever had a high ball, let us know what's in it. Do you like it? And maybe we should try that. Put it in a high ball. Yeah, we'll All have right? to look up what the um, the ingredients are in a high ball. So if it's a Japanese drink, does it have to be Japanese whiskey? No, not oh. at all. Okay, because you have we'll try Japanese it. whiskeys. All right, I All have right. to. Yeah, I have to venture outside my Vukuri bubble. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll see All you right. next Wednesday. Bye. Cheers.